What's going on guys? So today's video, I'm gonna be going over my tools and my equipment that I like to use every day in the barber shop. Let's get into it. Before we get into it, if you have not yet, check out the channel, and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, that way you don't miss any of my future content. Also, be sure to give me a follow on Instagram, at Adam's Hair Stuff. All right, so let's get into this one here, man. So I know that uh, a lot of you guys have requested this video, so I have done one of these in the past a long time ago, so this is gonna be updated version for you guys. So what I'm gonna do, man, is I'm gonna break it down into a couple of different categories here. So we're gonna do our clippers, we're gonna do shears, we're going to do implements like uh, straight razors uh, and then also over a couple of combs that I like to use and maybe a couple blades and also you know uh, some miscellaneous stuff. All right, so the first thing let's go over here is what kind of clippers that I like to use, okay? So I break it down into three different things that I like to use, okay? And that is going to be a detachable clipper, a t detachable metal blade clipper, uh, your adjustable lever clipper, and then your trimmer. So going through all of them, uh, starting with the detachable blade clipper, guys, uh, is going to be the Andes Supras, okay? So these have been my primary go-to as of late. Now, I've, I'm a huge 76er and also Model 10 fan, okay? Model 10s are probably my favorite clipper of all time. I love them, despite the fact of them being corded, okay? Uh, it's just, when it comes to the cordless stuff, I think it's a game changer for me personally. I love having cordless clippers and uh, you know having that versatility and that and that freedom without the cord. So uh, to uh, substitute for that for me right now is going to be that, like I said, the Andis uh, Supras. This is the original one. I've had this one for quite a long time, a couple years now. And uh, to be honest with you, I have not had too many issues with this with this uh, clipper here, other than the dock failing on me. Now, just a heads up for you guys with uh, with Andis stuff here. Now, I'm biased in this, in my opinion, maybe. Now, I used to love Andis clippers and Andis as a brand, but as of late, I've had a lot of things and a lot of issues happening with my Andis clippers. Uh, I've went through a lot of Slimline Pros. Uh, a, couple, a couple of them broke on me. You know, within a couple of months, I had some balders go out on me, um, and then the dock went out on me on this. So, uh, Andis has kind of been on my back burner list for a while here, but... I will, I will say that the Supras are a good, a good clipper uh, in my overall experience other than the dock failing. Now what I like about this clipper is the fact that, uh, first of all, it is a, d a detachable clipper that you can use your metal blades on, okay? I like to use the, uh, the Oster blades and you can use, uh, use these clippers. And what I like about them is the fact that they are adjustable, okay? You can adjust the speed on these ones. All right, and the fact that they have a very good charging, uh, a good battery in them, and you know, a good runtime, I really like that aspect of them too. And uh, you know, this is the clipper that I use a lot to take down the bulk, get the shape down to a a a a, a just basic structure. Uh, you know, so getting bulk down and and just making my hair cutting a lot faster is going to always have to be uh, some type of of attachable clipper, rotary blade clipper. Uh, so right now the Andis uh, Supras are my go-to and um, you know, they, they, are, they are doing the job. All right, so the next thing that is up is going to be our adjustable lever clippers here. Now, what I like to use are the wall cordless uh, seniors, okay? So uh, I have two of them here and uh, I really, really like these clippers a lot. Now I've used, uh, started off with the Magic Clips, went to the cordless designers and modified them, and then I purchased these guys, okay? Now, uh, what I like about Wall's uh, cordless clippers is the fact that they have very good runtime, and the technology within the cordless clippers now is, is, is fantastic in my opinion, you know? When they first came out, you know, you had issues with power and stuff like that and battery and just not consistent th consistency throughout the cut. But I think they've eliminated that pretty well with uh, the new clippers that they have now, you know, lithium ion batteries, uh, same with the, with the uh, Supras, but um, lithium ion batteries, good, uh, consistent power and, and you no know, strong power at that, which is what I like about this. I still say it's a little bit below your, your corded variations of these, but 
it's very hard to tell the difference, okay? Now, what I, what I like about the Seniors is I think they have a good weight and they are very easily adjustable on the blades, okay? So uh, let's start off with this one here. So there's a reason that I have two of them, okay? And the reason is, is because each one of these blades are different, all right? So this senior right here is my fading clipper. So I have this one set to bald, man. I can I can take out the, uh, the, the bald line or the trimmer line with this one. It's very, very close. I have it as close as I can possibly get it, man. And I also put on a ceramic blade on this, this one as well. Now, I love ceramic blades, guys. I believe that they offer a smoother cut. Uh, you know, they don't dull as quick or anything like that. So I really like the ceramic blades. So I put that on this one as well. And again, this is going to be my fading clipper. This is what I use all uh, to, to do my bald fades with. So the uh, cordless senior right here, and I also use this on one of their docks. Uh, if you haven't seen them, they're, they're a little dock that you can, they, they stand upright in. I really like that, that dock that, that these come with or that you have to purchase. But um, you know, it works well. And you know, they have not failed me yet. And I really like just the overall feel of this clipper. So um, for my bald fades, it's always gonna be the, the uh, Cordless Senior uh, coming in strong with that. Now let's go over this Cordless Senior right here, guys. So uh, I wanted to buy this one, obviously because it was like a limited edition, um, you know, the all metal bodied uh, seniors. Now this Senior is going to be more so for all my other kind of haircuts, okay? So um, this one is not set to a bald line on this one and what I like like to have why I like to have two different clippers for that is because um, the bald the balding clipper I don't think is necessary for every haircut and I have a lot of older clients that come into me also a couple kids so when you're using a clipper like that like the balding clipper where it's set to zero on the blade so so uh, dramatically these can these can tend to nick, man. So you got to be very light-handed with these with with older people and uh, you know people with loose skin that kind of thing. So I like to have my uh, my other wall um, seniors not set with the fading clipper on or the the fading blade on it. Okay. This one is just the regular taper blade. And as I have done to the other one, I have done to this as well. Put on that ceramic blade on this one as well because you know again I like ceramic blades. I think they work well. So this one, again, is just like, I use this just for regular basic tapers. Uh, I use this one for, for, you know, a lot of clipper over comb, that kind of thing. So this clipper is basically used just for, for my sensitive skin clients, that kind of thing, guys. So, um, you know, again, this clipper has been great. I've probably had this one for about three years now, and I have not noticed any, any dip in power or um, you know any issues with it as long as you maintain it you know keep it clean oil the blade and what i love about wall clippers the most is their guard system guys i love the wall guard system okay i think it works very well i think they are very efficient now when i first started cutting hair and barbering i wasn't a fan of of wall you know i i use the andis masters uh the t outliners and the 76ers those those were the three clippers that i always used but uh, you know, now that I got some more experience and, and I've tried different things and different clippers, I really like the wall uh, clipper guard set uh, and, the, and the system that they use. I think I think once you figure it out and figure out your process with them, they work very well. And uh, these premium guards, I, I really like a lot. These are the wall premium guards. Um, work great, uh, snap on, very sturdy, they ain't going nowhere. And uh, you know, they're very precise and they feed the hair pretty well. Um, the only issue I've had with some of them is uh, is the half guard. Now I have had a half, a couple half guards where the teeth have broken. Um, this is the only guard that I've had an issue with. So now I went back to the, just uh, you know the OG one and it's been, been holding out for me. So um, I really, really like the wall um, guard system. Now I only use three different guards when it comes to my uh, to my clipper work, guys, I use the half, I use the half, the number one, and then the one and a half, and that's it. Everything else, uh, I transition to my to my uh, detachable clipper or clipper over comb, show over comb, different techniques. But these three guards right here are my primary. Uh, I have to have these are the ones that I will always use, and uh, you know have been a staple in my my overall cutting process. So um, when it comes to clippers and guards. Wallace is gonna take the cake on that one, guys. Really like the system that they have come up with. So hats off to Wall for that one. All right, guys, so let's get into trimmers here, or a trimmer, I should say, because 
Like I stated with uh, with the Anda stuff, I have gone through three different pairs of slim lines, okay? And what's been happening for me is the 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 button or the the uh, slider button has been breaking off. Um, on on all three of them, they have done it, and I bought a new pair, and it broke in two months, guys. So the the quality control at Andis right now, I think, is is uh, suffering big time. So uh, Andis, if you're watching this, what's going on, man? Because I used to love your guys' trimmers and your guys' clippers, but as of late, they have been they have been breaking down on me big time. So um, I've had to switch it up and and uh, you know try other things. Now I did try the detailer. I really like that, but unfortunately that one broke as well. Um, I don't know what happened to it, man. Um, I think you know it just it it just uh, maybe I had a defective one or something like that. So I haven't really had the best uh, experience with uh, with the trimmers so far. But I ended up purchasing some of these Babyless Pros. I think these are the FXs or or something like that. But so far, so good, man. I really like this trimmer um, since I have been using it. Now, uh, what I like about this trimmer is obviously the appearance of it. I, I'm a big black and gold guy, um, you know, all black, everything kind of thing. So I really like the, the appearance of this trimmer, but I also love the power. Okay, this is a rotary a rotary trimmer so it's a very powerful trimmer i like that a lot the fact that it's wireless um you know the ergonomics are great on it i like the angle of the blade as well now speaking of the blade guys i this is actually a modified blade for this fx here okay so this is actually the m1 innovations modified graphite blade um now from my understanding, you know, I you know I heard about this uh, this blade, this modified blade from a buddy of mine. Um, he recommended it to me just because he's he said that it worked great and loved it, and the accuracy and the precision of this blade is uh, is, is 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 one of the best. Now, uh, so far from using it, the M1 Innovation blade on this, it has been great, guys. But the one thing I will say about this is this thing is so close and it is so precise that you have to be very light-handed with it, okay? And with this being my only trimmer right now, um, I gotta be very careful with, with, with kids and older people, or people with loose skin. Now, I used to run the same, the same, uh, the same setup I have with, with the, uh, the wall clippers, my, my adjustable blades. I had one that was for like, you know, skin fades and things like that, and then I had one that was for, for more just for outlining and and balding and just more sensitive skin. And that was was and that was the wall detailer. I had that one, the blade set a little bit further back. That way it was uh, you know easier on sensitive skin and that kind of thing. This one right here though, you can still get the job done. You just got to be light-handed. And I will say that this thing balds out tremendously. And what I like about it too is uh, the transition from the the balders or the the straight razor, the straight edge. This takes that out no problem. I don't even have to invert the trimmer at all or scrape or, or do any of those techniques. It's literally just a little flick of the wrist. And uh, with this modified blade, uh, the bald line comes completely out. So. Um, so far, this trimmer has been amazing for me, guys. The, the Babyless Pro FXs uh, with this modified M1 Innovations blade, I think is a great setup. Um, if you are in the market for a new one and or if you're somebody who does a lot of lineups, a lot of beard work, that kind of thing, you need this blade because uh, it works tremendously. And he has this thing laser, laser precise, guys. I am talking just you can't get any more precise than this. So um, I think it's worth the investment if you're looking for a new blade on these, but for the trimmers, it goes to the Bayless Pro FXs. All right guys, so next up, let's go over shears, my favorite tool. So when I first started barbering guys, I prided myself on my shear work the most, okay? I always figured everybody knows how to work with clippers. Everybody, you know, the clipper does most of the work for you. You just gotta know, you know, shape and, and how to uh, blend, you know, that kind of thing. In my opinion, you know, it's, it's something that comes with time, but shear work, is king okay in my opinion shear work will always be king it is the foundation of barbering it's where it's where a lot of uh techniques have have been formed from so shear work to me was very important and the shears that i use today uh play a big factor in all of my cuts i do shear work on i would say 95 percent of my cuts so what i have switched up to and what i love now are the mitsutani shears guys oh mitsutani have been great as of late for me guys uh, these are the db the db20s right here 
and this is a fantastic all-purpose shoe. Uh, and what I like about this is because it has the uh, nano technology um, from from uh, Mitsutani, and what that is is the uh, it basically kind of grips the hair when you're cutting. You can feel it kind of grip it, and it just is so precise when they cut. And uh, they hold an edge very well. Um, they're very smooth. Just the ergonomics on these DB20s are great. So. Favorite shear is definitely these Mitsutani DB20s. Um, I like to use a five and a half inch shear uh, for, or scissor for all of my precise and, and detail work. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of point cutting I'll use this for. I use this for outlining um, and, you know, doing any slide cutting on the fringe or anything like that. Uh, so for precise work, um, for, for precision work, uh, point cutting, slide cutting, those kind of things, outlining. This shear is great because it strikes the perfect balance of thinness behind the edge and the shear itself, the weight, everything about it. Five and a half inch shears or scissors I think are a must have for everybody. Now why I believe a five and a half inch shear is, is crucial for everybody is the fact of the size of it I think works best for when you're doing edging and things like that and for you to be very precise and see what you're doing. Uh, also, you get a little bit more cutting power the shorter the shear or the shorter the scissor, uh, the more cutting power you have. So um, for point cutting and things like that with thick, thick hair, um, I think five and a half inches is a great, uh, a great balance for that. So um, hats off to the Mitsutani shears for um, for this one, the DB20s, because they are great, man. If you're in the market for, for a solid pair of just, you know, all-purpose shears, um, uh, you will not go wrong with the uh, the DB20s, man. So uh, check those out. All right, guys, and then let's get on to my other two pairs of shears here. Now, Mitsutani, I think, takes the cake for, for brands when it comes to shears. Um, the, the experience that I've had with that brand has been a million times better than the one I'm about to share with you. Now these shears still work, um, and you know I paid a lot of money for them, and I'm still going to use them. But I will be uh, upgrading to some more Mitsutani's that are the same size and I know similar kind of uh, aspects as these shears. And that is going to be the Hanzo shears here. Okay, everybody's heard of Hanzo. Uh, you can have your opinions about them, whatever. As I as do I. But the fact is, they still cut hair. They still work. And um, you know these two are the main staples that I use uh, on top of the DB20s. Okay, because I believe every shear has its purpose. Okay, and let's start off with these here. These are six and a half inch Mambas by Hanzos. Um, these shears have been pretty good for me, man. Uh, you know, the only thing I've had issues with with Hanzo is going to be their customer service, the representatives, uh, that kind of thing. Um, but as far as the shear itself, you know, edge held up pretty well. I do like the ergonomics on these other than the short tang on these ones. Um, now, what I like to use the uh, six and a half inch shear for is all shear over comb, guys. Um, I believe having a longer shear for shear over comb will make your hair cutting experience a lot better. Uh, you get more surface to cut, more surface areas, so you, you work a little bit faster with a longer shear for shear over comb and that kind of thing. You can even step this up to a seven inch shear and I think you'd be great, but I think six and a half is a perfect length for me um, and I like the fact that um, you know these mambas you can use them in dry hair as well as with the db20s but uh, for dry hair shear over comb if you have a client an older gentleman who has a you know gray hair and a very coarse texture cutting it dry sometimes is the best way especially shear over comb so um, the the mambas have been great for that kind of thing i use all my shear over comb with the mambas i do not recommend doing shear over comb with a five five and a half inch shear because you can't be as precise with five and a half inches i believe as far as as a shear over comb goes that is the one drawback to having a short shorter shear and that's why you see a lot of barbers who use long shears because uh they are very precise and it gives you just a vet a better a better movement pattern with with uh, keeping your 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 blade moving well and keeping this steel blade as still as possible. So um, the mambas are great for that. Six and a half inch mambas. Uh, I cannot um, you know you know really knock on these too much other than like I said the customer service and stuff that I've had with Hanzu. But um, overall good shear. Next up, guys, is going to be my blending thinning shear. Um, this one is just um, you know a a H one. An HH10T 
Hanzo thinning shear, okay? Now, um, I think thinning shears and blending shears uh, know, have their place in the barbering world. I know some people look down on them. They call it bashing it, bashing it with the thinners. Everybody knows that, that term now. Uh, in my opinion, you know, it has its place and you need to use it sparingly in certain, certain, uh, certain areas of your hair cutting. Um, a lot of the guys from Shkorum use the, uh, use the thinners a lot and, and blending shears. And I think, I think they work great for, for taking down bulk, you know, getting out weight lines, um, you know, obviously adding some texture if you're, if you know how to use them right. So, um, the, these blenders or, or, or thinners have been okay. Okay. I will say they haven't been my favorite. Um, unfortunately these are the only ones that I own right now. I have used a couple others. I have traded a buddy for some as well, but overall these have been okay. Um, I would love to get some of the, of the, um, the Mitsutani, uh, blending shears, because one thing that I do with these a lot guys is I like to slide cut. And what I end up doing is because these teeth, the, um, of the moving blade are on this side, the teeth are on this side. You can't really slide cut when you are facing, um, you know, when you have your shear at a, at a, at a, a just a regular position. Okay. So what I am doing is I end up actually inverting these and using them like this to where the full blade, the uh, cutting blade is actually on the bottom. Cause what that ends up doing for me is allows me to slide cut. Um, and Mitsutani actually makes a shear just like that to where it's on the opposite side. So that's what I like to do is, is actually invert these to actually slide cut. All right, so next up is going to be straight edges or straight razors. I have found the one guys. So uh, I've used a lot of different straight edges and you know, I like, I like a lot of them, but I found the one that I, pri uh, that I have consistently used for the past three years. I have not used anything else. And what that is going to be are these Turkish razors, okay? Now the brand is Sedef, S-E-D-E-F made in Turkey. Uh, you know, I, I watched a lot of the Turkish barbers, uh, do their shave work. Um, you know, I did a lot of research when I first started, started barbering or in the middle of my barbering career. And, you know, Turkish barbers are amazing, uh, shaving and, and using their, their tools with, with, uh, with techniques and stuff. So, you know, I, I became intrigued with, with the tools that they use and I found these Turkish razors that they like to use. And what I like about them is the fact that they are very thin behind the spine here and they are very thin at the edge here as well. Okay. So this is a disposable blade. What I like about them too, is that they are very, very light. Now I know a lot of guys don't like having a very light razor. I do because it allows me to manipulate the blade very easily and also to, to grip it however I want. So having uh, this very thin spine gives you a lot of control. Okay. So, uh, I would not recommend this straight, uh, the straight edge for beginning barbers because it is a very thin edge and a very thin spine and it's very light. So you have to know your touch and you have to be very precise with your, with your razor technique. So, but if you are, if you are figured all that out, I would highly recommend checking out the Turkish razors, uh, because they work very well and they are inexpensive. You know, I think I paid 15 bucks for this razor and I've had it for three years. Uh, works great. The steel has been, been rust proof. Uh, I've soaked this in barbicide after every, every use, you know, the blade and, uh, you know, uh, it's disposable. Now I will say the one thing about this, this, uh, straight edge is it takes some practice to loading this. Okay. Because you can cut yourself very easily on this because of how thin this profile is on this edge here and getting your, your disposable blade, especially the break apart ones in here can be a little bit tricky, but once you figure that out and you get used to using this, I'm telling you, there's no better razor out there. Uh, I've recommended that recommended this, this blade to a couple buddies and they love them. So, uh, these Turkish razors are going to be my number one when it comes to straight razors. All right, moving on guys. Uh, and I forgot to mention the balders, uh, what balders I like to use uh, in the clipper category. So what I have been using are the Babyliss pro clippers as well, uh, with, with the, uh, FX trimmers. Now I was recommended these by, by one of my buddies and I really do like these balders. I think they work very well. Uh, the old gold ones are cool. You know, they look, they look all right. They are very hefty. They're all metal casing and I really like how they balled. 
and get the bulk down. Uh, I have used the Andis, uh, the Andis balders as well. They have broke on me and I do not believe they have balled out quite as well as these ones. These ones work a lot better and they are a little bit more efficient uh, and the battery life is great on them as well. I charge these maybe once every two weeks and I do a lot of bald fades. I would, you know, we, we get it quite a bit in the shop and they have been very great. So these babyless balders, I think take the cake for, for, for the balding uh, category for me. Um, you know, I know there's others out there. I haven't used the wall ones, but uh, for now, these ones uh, get the job done and I cannot say enough good things about them. So uh, hats off to babyless for the, the balders. So next we are gonna go over our combs here. So I use two different kinds of combs, actually three, but the the brands are two different brands that i like to use and that is going to be for my flat top combs i always have used the wall flat top combs i really like these combs a lot because the teeth are i think at perfect distance between each other uh, i have soaked these combs in barbicide for my whole career uh eight years or so and i have not had one flat top comb from wall break not one tooth break at all uh, they come in these various colors as well uh, which i think is really great for getting contrast with different hair colors um, I, if you're out wondering why i have pink combs but the wall clipper comb i think is the best uh the best flat top comb there is um i, I cannot say enough good things about the wall flat top comb i have done thousands of haircuts with with this comb and you know it has been great great for clipper over comb spine uh, it's nice and sturdy not too thick and again the separation of the teeth i think are a good distance apart and everything about this comb man uh, i love all of their their uh their various colorways and they work great now the next comb that i have uh, that i like to use is going to be the ys park 332. now this comb is amazing for precision work and to uh, use any shear work. Now, I love the 332 the most, and I also use the 339 as my as my general cutting comb. That's the one I usually use just to like, you know, know if I'm doing like a little taper or something like that, uh, you know, or just just a regular haircut. But when it comes to doing shear work and being precise, the 332 is is the best in my opinion. And why that is is because you have a very large um, uh, tension side on on this comb right here with this this pointer tooth at the end here that you can make very precise partings with as well as a very fine side on this comb uh, to get very detailed and just like the wall comb i have used ys park for about six years now and i still have my combs now i have had a couple of teeth break but these are being soaked in barbicide for for hours uh hours every day and you know the barbicide is a pesticide that really breaks down and and eats at your tools these combs have held up for years and they do justice with with the construction of these combs they have a good flexibility to them and also they are very very comfortable and ergonomic so when it comes to combs the flat top comb by wall and the YS Park 332 and the 339s. I would highly recommend checking out those combs if you're looking to get new combs for your setup. And just a couple honorable honorable mentions here for, for wrapping up the tools and implements here. Um, this, the disinfectant I like to use is Cool Care, guys, and it's Cool Care. I think this is a great, great disinfectant. You know, uh, it, it lubes the blade up keeps your, your your tools and impl implements nice and clean so uh, when it comes to the disinfectant cool care all the way uh, i've used the clipper side and stuff i just not a fan of it but that's going to wrap it up for this one guys uh, if i left anything out and you want to know any more information about what i do uh, and what i use for for barbering and cutting hair leave a comment down below whether it's uh, you know shave gels um you know after shaves, those kind of things. If you're interested in that, I can do another video on like on like uh, products I like to use in the barber shop. But as far as tools and implements go, uh, this is this is uh, the basic breakdown for it. And if you have any questions about any of this stuff, also leave a comment down below, and I will try to get back to you. But right on, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay fresh, cause you deserve the best. We will see you guys next time. Take it easy.